Hello, my name is Fred Hemmings. Among other things, I'm an old surfer. I've been riding the waves of Waikiki since I was a young boy in the mid-50s, and of course, I'm a little older now, but it's been a long time, well over 60 years of, of riding these waves. I mostly canoe surf now. Looking back on my life, one of my greatest blessings was spending the last years of Duke Hanamoku's life with him. Well, Duke's ride is remembered by all of surfing because it has really become a legend within the sport. Early in May 1917, as the legend goes, a very large swell came uh, from the southern hemisphere, from off New Zealand. Back then, surfers didn't know what generated the swell or how it got here, but they certainly knew when it was big. And Duke and his friends woke up one morning and uh, there was huge pounding surf in the Bay of Waikiki. They were down uh, where the Moana Hotel is now, uh, at the Outrigger Canoe Club when it was on the beach of Waikiki. Next to them was a poor Kehau stream. And, uh, they looked out to sea and there was huge waves, uh, bigger than they've ever seen. And I'm sure Duke heard and deep in his conscience uh, the drums of ancient Hawaii beating and challenging to ride the waves. And he and a few friends, including a man named Dad Center and several others, uh, got their big boards, their oval boards, which were big wave boards then, and paddled out to a spot. In ancient times, it was called Kalahua Vehi, right out here. Uh, it's now called Castles. There, and it goes to a question, would you rather catch a lot of good waves when you're surfing, or would you rather catch the best wave? Well, Duke was from the school of thought that he waited outside and you waited and waited and waited and you were patient and you'd catch the best wave. And that Duke did. Uh, when a huge set came, Duke was in the perfect spot to catch it and he rolled, he took, off, took off, he turned, his, obviously he had to turn his big Olo board laying down on the takeoff uh, and he started angling for the Bay of Waikiki. He rolled through outside Publix, through Kunas, which is difficult and not impossible to do nowadays, through Queens and into outside canoes where the wave must be broken in what they call first break and then he pointed it straight in and ended up on the beach in Waikiki at about the Moana Hotel. That is the legend of Duke Mahanamoku riding the wave well over a mile to the beach in Waikiki. From the man who had a natural relationship with the ocean and he knew these waters intimately and was ultimately Hawaii's greatest waterman and in many ways Hawaii's greatest citizen.